Hey there YouTube, it's Math Buller. Welcome to my first of three fall Facebook purchase recap videos. As you can see, I have space balls and a photo to show you. I have four signed baseballs, a blank baseball, and a signed photo to show you. I love collecting autographed baseballs. They're my favorite thing to collect. Let me hide those two away. So, let's show you what I got. Fall Facebook purchase videos. I bought two baseballs from the same seller here. And when I saw this Omar Vizcal, I don't have him in my collection. It is PSA authenticated. So when I saw that, I thought, well, that's cool. <coughs> I don't have to have it, but solid defensive player. And I saw this baseball as well. I do not have that in my collection, the John Wetland. So with the inscription, the World Series MVP inscription, the Leaf, authentication I went for it those two baseballs were very very reasonable price they are crisp pearl signed baseball so those are two good ones to add to my collection so thank you to that seller for the Omar Vizcal and John Wetland baseballs then somebody was selling a bunch of maybe about six unsigned baseballs well that's great I'll grab the Bart Giamatti baseball here Sweet spot is not, that side of it looks good. That side's not super clean, but it'll look good with a signature for someone from that brief time where he was the commissioner. This autograph, and that, that cost me only $16 with shipping. That was a bargain. It was $10 plus $6 a ship. That was a bargain. This was a bargain as well. $9 shipped for this Francisco Liriano, signed 8x10. I know he's wearing a Twins jersey. He had his moments with the Twins, no doubt. But he also has moments with the Pirates. Super nice looking signature. The photo arrived safely, so I'm buying it. And then I got two baseballs here to show you. I'd say these are relatively heavy hitter baseballs, in my definition of the sense. These are not... Hank Aaron, which I do have. There's no Mickey Mantle, Joe DiMaggio. It's not that. In fact, this next one is one of my rare non-baseball signed baseballs. I saw this and thought, well, that's pretty cool. We have Kathy Ireland with the inscription, Necessary Roughness. And it looks like we have Lucy Draper, which I'm not familiar with that. But as a kid, I remember the movie Necessary Roughness really well. I was too young to realize just how amazing Kathy Ireland was at that time. But dang, that is a really cool one. These are JSA authenticated. So, kind of like with my first baseball purchase. Like, that's pretty cool, but I can live without it. But that would be really cool. And then I saw... A stat ball, which I will show you the stat ball of Gene Alley. In my third fall eBay purchase recap videos, I showed you a real nice photo signed by Gene Alley and Bill Mazeroski. And I got both of these baseballs from the same seller, and I've never seen a Gene Alley stat ball before. Leonard. Eugene Alley, World Series champs, 71. Two-time gold glove, two-time all-star. There's his debut inscription. There is his lifetime average and home runs. And there's his last game. How fitting, his debut and his last game. His career was cut a little bit short. And um, as mentioned before, JSA authenticated. So we got his full name with three, four, five, six, seven inscriptions. I know it's signed in black pen. I have very few baseballs in my collection. Oh, dagnabbit. That are signed in black pen. But that one had to be added to it. So, oh my goodness. This was kind of a big video because I love to collect autographed baseballs. And there's four good ones. There's one that I'm banking for somebody. And a nice photo. So I have two more videos to show you of my fall Facebook purchases. And it is so tempting to buy so many more. But when I look back, it's like I got good ones. I got good ones for my collection. 
So let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. I upload three videos a week, a TTMV on Monday, and an autograph and a trading card video such as this on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Take care, everybody.